Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you five insane glitches within Power World. Now, what I'll be showing you today is a great way to duplicate your items. Not only that, but I will be showing you a great way to exploit pals, and I will also be showing you a great way to create a base outside of the map that's in front of the large tree that you typically see in the distance when you are traveling around. The only way to get to this tree is by using a glitch that I will be showing you in today's video. So with that being said, if you have any questions by the end of today's video, make sure that you comment down below because I will be responding to them. Now let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's start off by talking about the duplication glitch because it's quite easy. What we need to do first is manage our pals and what we're going to do is unequip them so that they are not working at our base because if they are, it's going to interfere with the next step. So what I'll be doing here is actually unequipping all of my pals. So this way they are not working at all. They're just going to remain right here stored up in this box. Next, what we need to do is locate the edge of the circle here, which is typically found anywhere around your base. You can literally go any direction and you should Next, find it. we want to open up the build menu here and we want to craft down a table or we can literally choose anything that we want. Once you have found something that you would like to duplicate, for example, I will be duplicating this antique green wooden chair and also picking up the items from it. So what we need to do is bring the item towards the edge here where the blue line is, then try to place it down right as we go across like so. If done correctly, you will be able to place it down for free. Then once you have confirmed that the glitch has worked successfully, you then want to scrap it down. Just completely remove it and you should receive the same exact items back. What you could do at this point is pretty much rinse and repeat it until you have a crap ton. The best part is that you can do this with any item and you will receive the same exact items back. You then can take these items and sell them so that you can grab a bunch of coin as well. Now note, whatever item you use, it's best to use something that has a lot of requirements so that you receive a lot back in return. For example, this one, I will receive 10 wood and one of the venom gland. This is good. If you use something more expensive that requires 50 wood or something, you should receive that back as well. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and move on and talk about the next glitch here. What I'm going to be showing you next is an awesome way to create a base outside of the map, out of bounds, yet specifically towards this tree in the distance. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it in the distance because it sticks out like a sore thumb. There is something cool that we can do and we can get right over there, but there is an issue. Once we get to the clip, you're going to see a red barrier. This will stop you from going forward because the developers do not want you to get over to the side, but we are going to do it anyways. There is two requirements. We need two pals. We need a Nightwing, which is the thing that I'm riding on here, and we need Rush, which is more of a boar looking type of pal. Once you have that, all you need to do is make sure that you have the ability to ride these mounts, and the only way to do that is to craft down the items for them. So you should have the mounts and then the requirements to ride them. Once you have that, you then want to head towards the tree like so and reach the very far end. What you should see on your screen is a huge red box like so, it's kind of small, and this red barrier is going to stop you. We need to hop off of Nightwing and then summon down Rush. Continue to keep throwing it down until the ball reaches the bottom, and you should see at the bottom there that it's going to allow you to get on top of your mount. Continue pushing forward as you are swimming and hold down the F key, or whichever button it is for you to get on top of your mount. If done correctly, you should be sent to the bottom of the map like so. Now at this point, we we want to follow the barrier all the way towards the end of the map here. Then we want to use our ability, which is going to be a reckless charge, and you're going to push forward. So this way it can get you over the barrier, which we're kind of going underneath. And then at this point, continue pushing and pushing and pushing until you're far enough. You can check the map to see if you have made it all the way over, which is what I do in this clip. And it can help out quite a lot, and I do recommend it. Eventually, you should be able to pretty much get off your mount, and this will send you to the top. If it looks like this, do not worry, you're, you're not screwed at all. Just hold down the F key and then get back on your mount, and it should send you back down below. Then hold the F key again, and it should get you off of your mount. And at 
this point, you're behind the barrier. You can then summon down Nightwing and travel all the way towards the island here with the huge tree. Not too sure if this is going to serve a purpose later on in the game. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, who knows, but here you are. You can get here early. Now before we continue on towards the next glitch, I do want to show some proof here. I'm going to head towards the island and I'm going to place down some items. But actually what's funny enough is that I cannot do it. And the reason why is, well, I did not bring any material with me. I should have brought a lot of materials, but I just kind of left it behind without even thinking. So if you do get over here and you do the same exact mistake, you're pretty much screwed. You're going to be permanently stuck over here unless you glitch back onto the other side. But note, if you can create a base here, you can spawn back and forth from other bases and other locations. Next, what I'll be showing you is an infinite stamina glitch, which is going to allow you to continuously swing without even using your stamina. The only two requirements that you are going to need is two different weapons. That's pretty much it. You can use a axe, you can use a bat, you can use a club, and you can also use a spear. For example, what I'll be using is a spear and a club. We are going to use the club, continuously swing, then open up the inventory and swap out the club with the spear. If done correctly, you should see this animation where you're no longer thrust in the spear, but you're swinging it around like an axe or a club. Just continuously hold down that button that you are holding down, whichever it is for you. For me, it's the left mouse button. Continuously doing so, and it will not use a single bar of stamina. It will look like it, but do not worry, it's not going to use a single thing. This is great for starting off, and, and there's just a bunch of things that you can grab and tackle without using stamina. Definitely try it out and let me know what you think down below. Moving along towards the next glitch, I'm going to be showing you something that you might be already aware of. This right here is extremely useful. What we need to do is go after a enemy like so, or pretty much any pal. We are going to force ourselves to launch right up in the air, and it's quite easy. The only requirement is that you're going to need a pal ball, and you also need a weapon or a Pokemon that is not too strong. We need to attack the pal, and we are going to lower down the health, then throw the pal ball, and then get on top of the pal ball like so. We are going to wait until it officially is done capturing this pal, and boom, right there, you're going to be lifted right up in the air, and you can then glide wherever you need to go. The best part is this right here is extremely useful because if you're just trying to reach a certain spot, but you do not want to climb all the way up there, or you just need somewhere quick to get to, this right here is well worth using for that reason alone. You can even use this at the beginning of the game and reach the top of the tower without even climbing. It's a pretty cool glitch and hopefully this one stays in the game, but I doubt it. I think honestly, if this game does patch this, that would be pretty crap because it's a great way of just moving around and pretty much just going where you want to. Uh, but overall, it's a pretty cool glitch overall, and let me know what you think about this one right here, whether or not you knew it already or not. I believe a good portion of you may already have known about it. So let's go ahead and talk about the last and final glitch or exploit in today's video. This next one is going to have to do with a dungeon. If you do not know what a dungeon is or where to find one, do not worry because I am going to help you out right now. There is one dungeon that you could find right here on the map, and I will be showing it here in just one second and as you can tell I'm right over here at this spawn location. Once you have found this point of interest you then want to locate the back portion here and you should see that there is a cave. Go ahead and enter inside. Just know that there's more dungeons out here but for video purposes I'm going to show you this one right here because it's closer to me. What I'm going to do is locate the cave as I mentioned before and here it is. We are going to enter inside Make sure that you accept it by clicking yes. Then once you're inside, you should see a few enemies. As well, eventually you will also, you might also see some humans in here as well. And if you do, make sure that you equip someone strong and take them out as soon as possible because sometimes those weapons are pretty, pretty dang strong. Once you have done so, you can then head over towards the next portion here, which is on the right side, and we are going to continue forward. You have an option to take a left, take a right. Instead, we're going to head forward. We are going to head all the way in and then take a right. For you, it might be a different area. It might look completely different. In the end, you should find something like this where a boss is in the distance. Go about halfway and you should see which one it is. 
This is a Chicopee. What we're going to do now is just kind of do a 180. So this means I'm going to turn 180 degrees around, hop on my pal, and then continue back towards the entrance. The reason for this is because what's going to happen is this is going to completely reset the pal. You could do this in any dungeon at any point. Alrighty, so with that information out of the way, we can then push forward, go back to the same exact area, and if we do go to the same exact point, what you're going to see is that it's going to be a new pal. This means you can do this as much as you want until you find the exact one that you need, and you can then capture it. Hope that this helps out. I have now just kind of shown you five different glitches and exploits that you can do within Pal World. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not subscribed or if this is possibly your second time stopping by. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I will be replying to those comments within the first hour or two. So make sure that you comment right away and I will definitely try to respond. Thank you guys for the support and I will see you all in the next video.